being able to talk about it. Uh, I'm sure, you know, as soon as I can, you will, you will. I'll be here on coast, I hope. Um, but uh, I am going to spend the next, uh, you know, maybe month or two processing data. We're just overwhelmed right now. We've got so much stuff. I mean, you know, our group was the very first group, according to the, the people there who are our native in Romania, to go into Romania and do this type of paranormal research. One guy on our trip took over 4,000 oh. pictures. And that wasn't uh, that, that um, like extraordinary. I mean, so we have just mountains of data. So I'm going to be filing, uh, you know, going through that thing and, and uh, filtering it all out, you know. All right, let's take some calls with both of you. Let's go to first-time caller, Ernest, and you're in Washington. Hey, Ernest, welcome to the show. Hi, George. Hi. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Uh, hi, hi, Josh. Uh, well, I have. A, I want to make a, a little quick story about a ghost that happened to my uh, family member. He was a little boy of four living on the border of Arizona. Anything when I'm dead to a writer. I who get the best laugh? Who last laugh? The true stone behind the road, the fan and the spark. The true where you stick before you cross. The river. Shell the bar already, you know we go and greet again. Who is it? Greet again. Greet again. Brother can go bet already, you know we buy one again. And him a greet again. Greet again. St. Catherine, Clarendon, Manchester, St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland, St. Thomas, St. Andrew, from Star City Parish, Kingston, and OB, wish women and children, men and arms, to tune in for the light dose of Fridays, the beginning of sweet memory. So seat in for the reception of entertainment just for you, to whom respect is due every time. OB is on. OB is on. OB is on. OB. OB groove. OB rhythm. OB. Jamaica, flagship station, Friday at 12 in the midnight sun. Till 5, a man in. Owen Brown, sound to sound, the beat of the beat of the great Caribbean. Second. I don't know what day it is. It's like one o'clock or after midnight. Every time I left me on a mingo on the street, I know six seagull me see and on them me want me. It don't really matter if them shots are tall. From them young good, me say me want them all. A place is, is affected by humans, by tourists and whatnot, hurting through. The more it can sort of alter and wipe and distort those subtle yet distinct energy signatures we're going for. Um, Antietam is probably one of the best places to visit if you're looking for a, a Civil War battlefield. And uh, gosh, when, when you're looking into the infrared, it's stunning. Some of the full-bodied apparitions that have been captured, some of the best I've ever seen on these American battlefields. Next up, we go to Nick in Savannah, Georgia, wild card line. Hey, Nick, go ahead. Hey, how's it going? Good, Good. Nick. Good. Hi, I just wanted to um, just wanted to say, wow, it's crazy how this will just be a coincidence. I was listening to uh, uh, Coast to Coast tonight at work, and. Uh, be able to say that I was adopted actually from EBU Transylvania, Romania. Huh. Yeah. Small I, world. I was born there in 89 and I was adopted uh, in 1990. It was actually the third major city to uh, go against the communist regime at the time. How old were you when you came over here? I was, uh, actually my, my father was a 
a ranger uh, in the army. I can't really say too much about it, but he actually adopted me, and my mother was German at the time. And uh, what was your father, the secret military, doing over there? Try to adopt some children. And I was actually fucking females in the cold bumblecloth. He adopted me. But the strange thing is, is I don't People go to life. all these places uh, where to go to Transylvania to Ponai Vampire Castle and climb up 1,480 steps to be with Vlad the Impaler. Impale people for fun, feed them to animals for fun. And they'd go there and boy... speaking on language earlier and how we're locked in the construct of language yeah um, something happened to me this week I tried to do a screencast, but anyways, let me explain it. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> <coughs> what good does it do to explain it? good does it do to explain it? Tikkun Olam is a Hebrew word for let's fix the world. I don't know cultural, religious, who stole what, whatever, but <clears throat> Tikkun Olam <clears throat> is like the Good Samaritan concept, I guess, that if there's a problem and you're walking down the road, you have to fix it. You can't keep walking by these things and saying <clears throat> it's a number. Oh, we have 12% increase in these homeless people. The homeless is down 4%. Make them a number. Put them in a category. We're all one. So you're walking, you, have to, you see something not right, you have to fix. <clears throat> we've We've allowed a, a, our society a margin of error which has just grown and grown so when there's a problem in society you say oh this is a poverty level or this is that level or that category put them in that category and we, it allows us to walk by and then go to work and not have to worry about it that's the number system numbers so if you was of the society of one, then you're not going to think like that. So, what are you talking about? Huh? <clears throat> What's it saying? You, over there. Over there. Um, oh, ticking all of them. So, 
I've used the concept in different things, I think, in whatever past few years. I have on some Facebook and YouTube things. I like the concept very much. And it's like the old Hebrew culture has some concepts which I think are very great besides diet. There's the concept of the tetragram, whatever, the four letters for the name of God that you can't pronounce. So you don't talk about God. It's not something you can deal with in this head part, okay? It's the best concept. You're not supposed to talk about it. You, you could write or different or point to it or whatever, but it's a Zen thing. So there's a tetragram and there's a tikkunolam. I think like some modern Jews or I don't know whatever they call them teach the... Here, here's the thing. Some of them teach the youth like as a maturity when you're becoming a 13 year old for whatever they like bar mitzvah they teach them ticking olam so you grow up that way but <clears throat> I don't even think they teach it fully in any ways but here's the thing that concept is locked away they don't let us know about ticking olam and this is what I discovered this week which amazed me and kind of freaked me when I came on it was I had done a couple of videos the other morning two videos or something went to search them one of them had taken all of them in the title and maybe the tag or something but it was definitely in the title and when I went to search them later I couldn't find the ticking all of them one didn't come up and I started to search more and, re and then search plain on ticking and all on and went to Google and search and found that ticking all on is a censored term in Google and YouTube. Okay, so it was censored. Then I go and set up all evidence and tabs and have my Google screenshots and everything. I said, let me do a screencast. And show people this. Because I said, boy, if you can show that the heart of Google and YouTube is connected to the Zion Empire that they control, they don't want you to use their terms. They will, the concept, they don't want you to think about fixing the world. They don't want you to think of those concepts. No, keep your head down. They don't want you to know about ticking all them or be able to post it, even use those or anyone find that. They control that. So anyways, I try and do screencast. I start screencast going and when I say start recording, it goes for a minute and then the screen pops back to my YouTube screen and screencast is gone. So I could see at this point you know, I've been hacked and sent sent to different things, but this uh, this was really high. Like they were really like. <clears throat> now here's the thing, they they could definitely whack me harder, but they're not. Anyways, so here's an that's an example of how language has this kind of trap. All right. And the whole media thing has us trapped. It's like a double stone there. Because it shows you how the concept of ticking all of them. Which for all of us to just in everyday life be natural fixing the world. It's not like we have to wait for election time and say oh we have to clean the ditches now. We live in here. We know we have to fix the world every day. It's nothing new. This stupid cycle business of election cycles or season cycles. These things we have to do all the time and remain vigilant in life. Um. Oh, well. Enough on that. You understand that.
is the concept of suicide. The collars that they put on us, a lot, some of them are fear-based. Fear-based codes are more firmware-based. There's hardware-based codes like sleep code and woman code, like woman shape for man is um, hard-coded. Like men will go around in woman shape, they see woman shape anywhere and they go like that, shape, woman shape, we're hard-coded. Um, fear, there's some, maybe some hard-coding there, but fear is a lot of firmware, it's in between software and hardware, it's firmware. <clears throat> you can change it. And um, so you have these collars in there. There's um, sleep code. Okay, look, when you go to sleep, that's them, you know. You think you just go up, uh, up, uh, and you don't know what's going on. <clears throat> They're coding us. That's a high code sleep code. <clears throat> What am I talking about? Sleep code? What was it? To oh, fear, suicide, death code. Oh, okay. They want you to be afraid of dying. And they don't want you to take your own life. I don't want to say too much about that, but you know, from here to there, you can get them. So, a lot of things that they tell us not to do, if you look behind it, you can find some secret to get them. But it's not for everybody. Not everything is for everybody, you know. That's why you work together, you pass information around. As far as mystics passing information around, Passing information around in words is difficult sometimes. Words, we're kind of trapped into words. <clears throat> Literature, reading, education. Education has been trapped into that word spectrum. Education. Education's fucked, you know. Everything's kind of fucked. The systems level. Systems. Understand that systems are things that we create when I say systems. Although everything is system, but Babylon are those things that we create, those man made systems, Babylon. Man made things. Is all on some spectrum. Okay, this is what I been trying to talk about. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. We have a problem now in the creation. All these demonic, cannibal, crazy things, possession things, they say steroid, bad sorts, whatever. <clears throat> these Afghanistan massacres, um, the Syrian ma massacres, we have a demonic problem. <clears throat> you can trace most of this or, or correlate most of this to the secret military and their occult efforts and their occult experimentations on us. Ongoing. Their Seth set the whole business. The whole galactic foolishness and everything that they do to mislead us differently. The different sky education, the different Venus transit, the different bullshit about our ancient aliens. <clears throat> Here's what I want to talk. I don't want to get distracted before I lose this. Us, we have all these emotions. Okay? <clears throat> we're nice, we wake up, we're calm, we get angry with this. <clears throat> so we have these floods of emotions that code our reality, okay? Some of us may be 
straight all the time. Some of us are all around. We're different, okay. But we have this. This is in our nature. This is this is our nature. And how we shape our nature. Our nature, our human nature, different <clears throat> from the heavenly nature and the earthly nature is our human nature. So we have our human nature like this, all of us. All of us are universe. A black hole universe, an endless Fibonacci universe, a spiraling galaxy universe, an exploding Bing Bang universe. One, every little thought is like a Big Bang. I go like this, I say, boof. It goes out there, down the wire, shots, boom. Out into the stored in server, Cisco this, Unix routers, everywhere all around the place, a million places, into your minds. Into your mind. I do something here, and it's in your mind? Come on. Come on. This cannot possibly be working the way we think it's working. There's no way I can do something here, like this, boof, and it's in your mind all over there. Come on. How could that possibly happen? How could I do something here, and then everybody's doing all them things now? Everybody's doing all them things now. Everyone's all over there, all over there, doing things, pushing them, and going all over into everybody's... How could that possibly be going on? It can't be going on. It can only be going on in the one. It can't be going on all individually. <clears throat> That's why we are down on this level here, and we think we're here with our minds right here, but our minds are higher. Our minds are sacred ground. Our minds are sacred ground. And when we walk on sacred ground, we need to have some protocol that we can agree on. Yeah? What do you... Yeah? 